During World War II, American troops created air bases on remote Pacific islands. To natives who had never witnessed advanced technology, the sight of giant metal birds touching down looked to them as if the gods themselves had turned the Earth into a planetary pit stop. They would see these big planes land, and, and it was all technology that, that, that just was out of the sky. They didn't know how these things worked, but they could see them land. And what they liked about it was they were getting free stuff. They were getting cargo. Suddenly, when the war was over, all these airstrips were abandoned, and everyone left. And the islanders scratched their heads, and they all said to themselves, wow, wasn't it great when those, all these planes came out of the sky and gave us free cans of corned beef and stuff? We really liked that cargo. Entire religions sprung up from this, where priests actually said, yes, you know, uh, that was our dead ancestors sending us cargo. So what they did then was they began going to the old airstrips and they would build mock wooden airplanes to try and get those planes to come back from the sky and deliver the cans of corned beef to them again. And so you can see how then an analogy with modern cargo cults plays exactly into the ancient astronaut scenario where something like this could have easily happened in the past and entire religions built around ancient astronauts.